Welcome back to my channel, Crafting Corner, and today we're going to be making a pizza kit. So let's get started. First, you want a piece of paper. I'm taking this orangish brownish piece of paper. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a circle. You can use a compass or you can trace a bowl. Tracing bowl is easier. You just wanna draw it. So guys, here's how my circle turned out. And now you want to cut out your circle. So guys, here is my circle. And now you want to set this aside and you want a red piece of paper like this. And you want to make draw a circle a bit smaller. So this was the middle and this is how big I drew my circle. I'm just gonna make it about this big and which means the crust will be that big till here. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna draw a circle on here. Like this. And now you wanna cut that out. So guys, here's how it looks after I cut it out. And then here is my pizza base. And I think it looks pretty good like this. So what I'm gonna do on here is, I'm just gonna make a squiggly design around, so it's not that even. And I'm gonna do that in some areas. I'm not gonna do it all the way because I prefer having some areas smooth. So I'm just gonna make some areas like this. So it looks like the sauce is like actually spread out. And I think that looks a bit more realistic. And now let's make the cheese. And to make the cheese, all you need is a yellow piece of paper like this. You want to take your pizza crust, see where the middle is, just make a thing even smaller than the one before, like this. Just a bit, just enough so your sauce can peek out. And then you just wanna draw a circle. So guys, here is the cheese after I cut it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it squiggly all the way around. Because normally when you put cheese on pizza, it melts. So then it's just like not even. And by the way guys, I have a video on how to make pizza without yeast. So if you guys want, you guys can check that video out. You just want to do the squiggly thing all the way around. So guys, here's how my cheese looks. <laughs> and... Here is my base, my sauce, and my cheese. What you want to do is fiddle around with it until you like it. So I'm just gonna move the sauce a bit here so it's even. And I think I like it right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a ruler and in the middle, I'm just gonna cut it into even slices. Just wanna draw a line like this and draw a line. Now you want to cut those on that line. So guys, here's how it looks after I cut them. And what you want to do is you want to slowly set these aside and make sure you don't scramble them up or else you won't be able to find it. For example, you just want to slowly move all this and move these like this. So then you don't forget which way it was. Because if you do, it's gonna take a while for you to fix it back up or it's just gonna look wrong. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip them over. Like this. So this is the back. And on the back, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw something. Like I'm gonna write one, two, three and four. So then I remember 
that these two and these two go along like this. And you can do that on the back of these two if you like. But that's obviously your choice. Or you could just, like, instead of flipping it around, maybe you just draw a line, something like this. So then you know it's like that. Just, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause they can't just flip it around you know, every time. So. so I want to draw a line like this. Just gonna draw a little line with that, so I know it's all connected. And you want to draw them in various places. And then you can draw for. This one belongs to four and like that. You can draw that on all. So guys, I numbered the cheese and the sauce and now I'm just gonna flip these back like this. And now it's just like a normal circle. And what you want to do now is you want to get a piece of tape and you want to fold it over so it's sticking on both sides and what you're gonna do is you want to get a slice of cheese you want to put this on like that and now you guys can just stick your cheese on and then you want to put one on the back of the sauce too so now you can just stick on your sauce like this and you guys can stick your cheese on while you're playing, there's more durability and it won't fall off. And you just want to do that for the rest of them. So guys, here our pizza is ready. And now we're just going to set this aside and we're going to start making our toppings. So guys, the first vegetable I'm going to be making to go on this pizza is um, tomato. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some circles. I'm just gonna draw four of each item so then I can place them evenly throughout. And four. Now you can draw any topping, like, you know, any details that are on a tomato. I'm just gonna draw all these thingies. You know those things that are on tomatoes. And you just want to draw that on all of the tomatoes. So guys, I drew all the details on the tomatoes and now you just want to cut them out. So guys, here's how the tomatoes look after I cut them out. And like that, I'm gonna make different vegetables. So the next vegetable I'm gonna make is capsicum. And to do that, what you want to do is you want to draw a, some, a C like this. And then you want to draw something like that. And you just want to color one edge like this using green. And you want to make four more of these. Empty. So guys, here is my capsicum. And now I'm gonna make some onions using a white piece of paper. So guys, here's how my onions look. And now I'm gonna make some olives and mushrooms. So guys, here are my olives, and now I'm going to make my mushrooms. So guys, here are my mushrooms, and after you have all your vegetables, what you want to do is you want to get a small piece of tape like this, and you want to fold it over, and then you want to take any vegetable and stick it on the back. So now you can stick it on and off, and you want to do that with all of them. So guys, here are all my vegetables, and I apply tape on the back of all of them, you can't really see it on the mushrooms. But as you can see, I did put tape on the back of all of them. And now you need pieces of paper like this. I have five because I have different types of veg five different types of vegetables. One, two, three, four, five. You guys can also add more toppings if you like, like corn or anything you guys really want. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a border around using marker so i'm gonna use this pink marker i'm just gonna do is i'm gonna draw a border around all of these 
also it just looks nice and gives it a little bit of pop you guys don't have to do this this part is optional and you just want to do that on all of them so guys here's how it looks after i did it on all of them and now what you want to do is you want to put on your vegetables like this one by one first i have my tomatoes on the first sheet and the next one i'm just gonna put my capsicum you guys can also do the outer thing depending on your colors but i thought maybe this was also pretty cool so it's like a set and like this you just want to add all your vegetables on so guys here are all the vegetables for some reason this looks like so good i don't know why i think it's because of how the border looks and like i don't know i think it just looks so good and now we can start making the box. But guys, before we make the box, if you want, here's an option. So guys, for this step, you need two big pieces of paper like this. And what you want to do is you want to draw out the border. So guys, here I outlined them and I drew little hearts to indicate that that's on the top. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our pizza. So here is our pizza. It's like this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them exactly like that and the smaller one is for the cheese you should be able to peel the tape off like this I'm just gonna put them exactly where they were sort of like this also make different types of sauces and toppings if you guys like so here I have the cheese and now on here I'm gonna put all the tomato sauce things sticks if your like sauce sticks to this just take it off it should come off like this but if it does stick you can just like I don't know you should use masking tape if you are worried about that but I'm not that worried so so here is my sauce and here's my cheese and now here is our bread and now let's make the little platter for this to go on so guys now you want a piece of tape and you want to fold it over like this you want to put it on the back like that you want to do it to all of these and now you want a piece of paper like this and you want to slowly put this on and this is just going to be the platter that it's going to be on and it should look like this so here's how it looks on the platter after I settled it so it's like that and now we can finally make the box because we have the base we have the sauce we have the cheese and we have all our toppings and the only thing we're missing is the pizza box. So guys, to make the box, what you need is a piece of paper that looks like this. And you need some flaps on like that. And now what you want to do is you want to take a ruler and you want to fold it like this. get a nice fold on all sides like this and you just want to fold 
all sides. Here too. I just want to do that for this part. So guys, here's how it looks. And now here on this part, which is gonna be the top part, I'm just gonna draw a pizza and a logo. So guys, here's how it looks. And now let's just put it together. So here we're gonna fold it, fold the sides like this. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some glue. Put some glue here and on here and stick this on like that. So it's sort of like a pouch and you can put all your things inside here. And so guys, in here we can put everything. Here is our base. Here's our sauce. And our cheese. And the rest of our toppings. You can just drop everything inside. When you want to play with it, you guys can just take it all out. And now I'm going to show you how it works. So here we have all the items, which we're going to set aside. First we have the pizza base. And for that, we're going to take some sauce like this. It could take a while to get the right place, but after that, it's easy. So, here we have all the sauce. And after the sauce, we need some cheese. And now we can add in all our toppings. Now we're going to add some olives. Some onions. Lots 
last please some capsicum this is a pretty crowded pizza and so guys i hope you guys like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe